Hey, welcome back, friend, to the 69 Pillars of Success. Today, let's talk about what to do when things don't go your way. Inevitably in life, you're going to run into things that you don't want to happen or you want something to happen and it just doesn't. So let's use a specific example so I can illustrate it for you. Let's say, like me, you're a consultant that serves clients, okay? You go in, you add massive value to clients, and they're willing to pay you for that service because you help them make more money and build more resources to help their communities, right? Remember, in that business, owning an agency, you are going to get said no to by about 70% of the people you reach out to. In fact, a larger percentage is just going to ignore you and not even talk to you. That's why being in business and sales, it's really hard, right? But what most of us do when something doesn't go our way is we shut down. I can't tell you how many other consultants I've seen get frustrated when they, especially when they first start out. Right? I've been at it for a while and had a few punches in the face. So you kind of get used to that. You understand that's just the way it works. But even with my son who tries things like basketball or football and he doesn't do it right the first time and he gets so frustrated. But more importantly, he shuts down and gives up. Not understanding that the failure, or not the failure, just the progress, the process, is what eventually gets you to the place where you want to be. But let's talk about the solution to the problem. So you're negotiating with a client, and let's say you actually get to the table, and this actually happened to me. You get to the table, and you negotiate, and the client says, yes, let's do business, right? And then you're like, great. And you start doing the follow-up to figure out when are we going to start doing this amazing business that we talked about. And then a few weeks later, you find out, oh, we went with another client. Now, that hurts. That's a punch in the stomach because they didn't say no to you. They said yes, and then they changed their mind without telling you, without you constantly doing follow-up with them. That's kind of a punch in the face. What most people would do is be like, oh, dude, I can't even anymore. I'm going to go do something else. And I find so many people in life that just say, oh, I'm going to go do something else, not knowing that that punch in the gut is giving you strength and resilience to keep going so you can win. The solution when that happens to you is to take massive, massive and immediate action. Right? This, is an, this is another lesson from I talk about Napoleon Hill a lot that he taught a long time ago on like a black and white video, which by the way is on Amazon Prime if you want to watch it. I think it's The Keys to Success by Napoleon Hill. Right, Definitely watch that. It's awesome. And so the key here is take immediate, he says immediate action. I say immediate massive action with a positive attitude, meaning the way I look at it when that happens is I say, okay, I got punched in the stomach. Good. One, maybe this is God trying to tell me this is a client that you may not want to work with. Or maybe it's just not the time. Or maybe them they said yes and something actually happened and they were just too embarrassed to tell you I can't work with you. Right? You never know what's going on in the lives of other people. Right? So you say, you know what? This is not a no or a punch in the gut. This is an opportunity for me to keep going and to work harder and to get better and to learn what could I have done better. And there was something very specific I could have done in the meeting with them that probably would have changed the course of it. So I take the ownership for that. Then you take massive action. You get that gut punch, make it a habit to say, you know what? I'm going to reach out to 20 people tomorrow. I'm going to go to 20 people. Right? Even if they all say no, but I think at least one of those people is going to say yes to me. Remember, it's not just immediate massive action. It's immediate massive action with a positive attitude. Right? I'm going to get up and keep going because, friends, it's a lot of things in life are just a time or a numbers game. If you just keep doing it, eventually someone is going to say yes to you. And the beauty is the ones who say yes when you do it that way are often the ones that become the most beautiful relationships because you're approaching them with this positive, energetic, and resilient because you've been through some things, right? You want to go through some hardship because it's what makes you strong. If it were all easy, all of us would be billionaires and then the economy would crash because then, <laughs> then what, right? When it doesn't go your way, 
don't get down. I mean, you can feel down for like 30 seconds, right? That that gut punch hurt. I'm not going to say I just got on and I said I'm great and everything's great. Everything wasn't great. I was frustrated and angry. That's okay for about three minutes. Then after the three minutes, okay, here's what's going to happen. We're going to that one that I lost. I'm going to get two more. I'm going to get two for the one I lost. And those two people, I'm going to serve them so well and so great. I'm going to make their lives and their businesses and their families feel so amazing because I'm going to give them such great service that it's going to get back to these people that punched me in the gut and they're going to call me later. Right? Right attitude. And I'm going to take immediate action massive action. I'm going to reach 20 people and I'm going to do another 20 people tomorrow and another 20 people tomorrow until I get those two people that I can change their world for the better, right? Napoleon Hill says you have to make this a habit and I promise you if you make this a habit, friends, life is going to be amazing for you if you just give it time. Love you guys as always. Stay strong. We are stronger than I. See you on the next one.